Hey everyone, this is Tom from Montac here, and this is going to be the very first episode of Montac from scratch. Uh, obviously, you've seen a lot of uh, card games do this similar uh, idea. I thought it'd be pretty fun to basically have a crack at it myself. So, basically, what we do is to start off as with every other scratch, you start with a starter deck. We're starting with the Divine Uprising Angel starter deck. And each episode, we're going to open a couple booster packs and see how we can improve it. So, I've got the set one. Uh, Divine Devastation there, looking phenomenal. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the starter deck and then basically go through it. Uh, as you can see, I've opened up a little bit just so I can make it easier to open on camera. But basically, you're going to uh, get, you can see the cards in the back and on the front. Let's just open it up. It looks a little bit rough without any plastics on it. So let's take that off nice and easy. Here we go. After the challenge, got the Instagram there. Cards, which is very nice. I'm very happy that it came out. Uh, there's your assets, so there's your tacticals, and there's your monsters. Giving me the camera quality is pretty crap, but uh, I'm gonna give it my best shot, and we're gonna see how these things go. Uh, very interesting to see how I go. I'm gonna be facing Misfire on the weekend, so I'm gonna record this separately and then uh, see how I go against a four time champ. Uh, here we go. Ooh. Tanajama, of course, Arathor, very nice, Zachariah, Beowulf, Medicine Angel Elizabeth, Hutch Angel Ryan, Specialty Debt, Divine Shield Gabriel, Divine Castle Peace of Harmony, Divine Sword, that's going to be really useful, Angel Feather, Synergy Null, I actually, oh, that's actually going to be kind of good, actually. Redeemed Angel, of course, Forgotten Angel Zachariah again, awesome card, Curse Breaker Swordsman, there's your Apex, there's your 30 Attack Big Boy. Uh, that's going to be pretty important. Uh, during preparation stage, yep, Ryan, Alfred, Sword of course. Let's get my hand out of the way there. So that's going to be very nice. Uh, Kid Angel, Inner Darkness, Mono Mace, Dragon Spire. Very good cards. Type change will be fun. I don't know if I can do much love with that. Beowulf. Oh, I love Beowulf. This is one of the best uh, starter cards you can really get, uh, especially when you're first uh, playing Montek. Supreme Dragon Conqueror, great, uh, I guess he's a toolbox card really, but he works really well with Angels, he's part of their Apex condition. Uh, Beowulf there, Curse Breaker, great for getting it out with Destroy Sword plays, Let's see if we can pull some, uh, yep, Elizabeth IV, Gentleman Angel, Kid Angel, Shield, Sword, uh, Feather, Castle, Outcast, Star Hand, yes, there is one Star Hand, isn't there? Okay, so Star Hand's gonna be nice, I think two copies is gonna be a bit overkill, so I'm glad I've only got one. Now, um, what I'll do is I'm going to go through this, like I just did there, and we're going to have a pack opening. So, um, I've never opened up, that's another big thing, I've never actually seen this version on my cards, uh, they were all the previous version. Uh, this is the new card template, so I'm really happy with that, it looks absolutely phenomenal. Let's have a look. Okay, so we get 18 pack, maybe king cards, guaranteed rare, very nice, customary blank on the back. They also changed the... Uh, boost pack looks, so that should be pretty good. Let's give these a crack. I'm going to do my best not to bend anything. Don't want to have any mishaps. Oop, there we go. Ooh, I can already see we've got potentially a kid angel on the inside here. Be careful. Very careful. Okay, alright. Okay, let's hope I can get some good packs. So obviously, kid angel will be nice. Oop, I can see a couple of stuff there as well, but let's just go with this. Kid Angel, okay, Angel Feather. Remember, a lot of the Star Deck does come from set one, so this will likely have a couple of reprints. Okay, yep. Ooh, Sky Soldiers. I don't know if I can really incorporate that, but it's nice to have, especially for a future episode. Sunwalker Sacrifice. Ooh, if I get enough Sunwalkers, I could definitely use this. Ooh, another Tacticalism. Oh, I could definitely use Burst Dragon, especially if I want to go heavy into the Bale strat. That could be really useful. Unity. Okay, so if I can get Warfare, I could chuck that onto a Hornwing and use that pretty well. In a Darkness. Kid again. Outcast. Actually, that's a different rarity kid, isn't it? That was a rare kid before, not a common. Outcast. Okay, I could run double Outcast. Medicine. Oh, nice! Ultimate rare version of the Dragon Conqueror Archangel. Yeah, I'm definitely going to replace that. Ooh, I don't know how I got that lucky so quickly. But that is that is amazing. That's the cover card. Um, that is the uh, much rarer version of the one I actually have, so that's awesome. Uh, Gentleman Angel, yep. 
Dragon's Fire, yep. Quetzal, I don't know if I have enough Mythics to make this work currently. We'll see what the other pack yields, but I feel like I might not be running this. It depends on what else I get. Type change, very nice. And finally, oh, oops, Lamia, ooh. Oh, man, he really wants me to play Sky Soldiers. Do I do this for the Misfire matchup, just to annoy him? Uh, I have no idea, but I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. And then, of course, finally, as you would have seen, uh, as was just in Beowulf, I can't run multiple copies of this, but I will probably sub it in just because it's the super rare version, so. Um, yeah, set one format, probably the strongest monster there, so that's pretty sick to get that, like, in the first pack. Um, right now I think we're probably sticking with Angels with a couple maybe weird chuck-ins, but let's see what, uh, what this second pack, let's, same pack of course. So it's going to be two packs from each set, just one to five, and we'll just see how we go in each video, how we can improve the, the cards. Ooh, okay, I can already see a Pyro Squire. But that's not really a rare card or anything, so. Of course, keep in mind since Game Crafter, ooh, careful, careful now. Alright, since it's Game Crafter, all the cards are not in order of rarity, it's just they're randomly put in there, so let's have a look. We got a Pyro Squire, let's just not give away anything from the back. That allows me to put a bit more into the Sunwalker plays. Another Unity, that's definitely doable. Now if I can get a Warfare, that'd be great. Angel Feather, probably one of the weaker Angel cards, but it does have some fun interactions. Outcast Axe, of course, the basic power-up. Specialty Debt! <gasps> yes! Oh, that's very good. I don't think I got that. Did I get that in the starter deck? I don't believe I got that in the starter deck. Oh, I did. Okay. Okay. That's going to be really nice. That's going to be really nice. But I, can get, I think I got multiple copies now, so that's really good. Conqueror, cool. Dragon's Fire, great with the Conqueror. Another Sky Soldier, so Chimera Cyclops. Um, don't really have any big pieces of the Sky Soldier archetype yet, so I need to probably grab those before I can really commit. But this is still good if I want to do some sort of hybriding. I do have a Synergy now, so it is possible. Regather, so this is Royal Blessing. That's going to be really useful with Titus. Um, in the Darkness, yeah. Another Lamia. Can only use one copy though, which sucks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> what are the chances? What are the chances? Oh gosh, people are going to hate me because I keep getting all the Zacharias. That's amazing. There's not supposed to be this likelihood of getting Zacharias. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh yes, Tactician. Okay, now I'm happy. We got Tactician. It's fine now. I gotta chuck this in. I gotta chuck this in. Gabriel, yep. Uh, get it there. Sword, yep. I don't know. Do I have two copies of Sword? I believe. <gasps> oh. I need Warfare and I needed Wolfman. I don't know if I'm going to get them now because I've only got like two, three cards left, so... This thing basically is the best board wiper in the game. Uh, it's a huge card for Sky Soldiers, it's one of the other, other ultra rares, so... Yeah, that's pretty insane. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Uh, let's have a look at the next card, Kid. Ooh, the rare version. And finally... <gasps> oh, no way! Oh, Miss is gonna hate me so much. <laughs> yeah, this is probably one of those cards where it really could be worth a heck of a lot more. Uh, like, it could be an ultra rare, etc. But it's just currently sitting at a rare. Um, this is probably one of the strongest cards set one, especially before set two comes out with all the specialty removal. Uh, this, I cannot wait to use against Miss Fire. Uh, this is gonna trigger him a lot. And, um, yeah, this is gonna be fun. Um, but with all that done, so looking over basically the better cards we got from these packs, probably looking to chuck in, I think what we're going to do is we're going to use Crime Partners, maybe Shield Breaker, but then again, Karnajama is pretty good. I think we're probably, there's not going to be a lot of stuff I can chuck in, obviously I didn't get enough of a lot of cards, but I'd say the main cards I will be looking at, I think Sky Soldiers I need a little more before I can go that way, but definitely Crime Partners I'm going to chuck in. Uh, Kid, I already got that. Wolfman would be great. Actually, if I could cheat it out, I might chuck that in as a tech option. He would not see that coming. Um, Versatile is good for Constance, but I don't really have any Constance. Even though I really want to run it, I don't think it will be good. I do have Castle. 
but it can't even attack while castle's in play unless I use it on the very first turn to attack, and I don't know if it's really all that useful. This, I'm definitely going to chuck in, uh, of course, because the rarity bump. Why would I not? Uh, Lamia. Maybe if I want to go in a Sky Soldier direction in the future, maybe? In the darkness. Royal Blessing, I definitely need to run, but I don't have the tokens, so I don't know. Tempted. You may see it says Tactical Regather. It's actually called Royal Blessing now. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. It's confusing. Uh, yeah, Captain Hammer Cyclops. No, I can't use that. Supreme, especially debt for sure. Uh, Outcast, if I don't have two copies, I probably will chuck a second copy in. Angel Feathers, and then Pyro Squire, the boy. Uh, I just don't think I have enough Sunwalkers to really double up on a lot of the damage. I think I've only got like one Sunwalker from that. A lot less Sunwalkers than I thought I was going to pull, but I'm still pretty happy with the two packs. I got some major cards that are going to be really useful. Basically, the game plan is. Detonation Soldier is the main special removal. I know he's been running probably some sort of Angel variant, unless he's pulled some good stuff from his pack. Uh, we'll have to see. Um, Archangel for the Rotary Bomb. This will be fun to cheat out. I don't believe it requires its condition to be fulfilled either, so that will be very nice. And then Fire and Smoke, of course, uh, I think will be a clincher. So yeah, those were the packs. Uh, I'll probably just wrap up the video here, uh, and then you'll see a bit of a me overviewing the... Uh, match with Misfire uh, and just seeing all these changes. If I had to take out cards, I will probably remove... I've only got one debt, don't I? Do I only have one debt soldier in this deck? If I have two, then that I'll just I won't add the second. I don't have two. Okay, so I think I'm going to chuck out this Angel Feather for over Crime Partners. We would chuck out maybe our Gabriel, I think. We don't need two Gabriels, so I'm going to chuck out Gabriel for specialty debt. And I think if we're looking at the asset, I like Arathor. Uh, I like Redeemed, of course, we get Redeemed. Conqueror. Conqueror, I'm going to switch out for the ultimate rare because, hello, ultimate rare. Uh, I did get a. Actually, I'm going to chuck in a I'm going to chuck in all the, all the rarity bumps I got, actually. It's a good point. It's a good idea. I wish I could run multiples of the big boys. Uh, here we go, Conqueror. Very nice. I will chuck that in as well and remove the two cards I need to find. Oh, it feels so good to feel these cards in my hand again. Uh, it has been a while, those can go. And I think that's about right. I think I would chuck in Air General for, these are all my asset. Oh, I don't know if I can get rid of any of them. Maybe Ar instead of Arathor I go with an Air General. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to do that instead of the Arathor play. We're going to do that instead. We're going to do some wacky shenanigans. I think this will be fun. I can cheat out the Wolfman with uh, Forgotten Angel Zachariah. So that should be doable. Uh, it's a bit wacky, but we're going to give it our best shot. Uh, like I said, the next video will probably be me just talking over the match with Misfire. And uh, wish me luck, because I feel like I'm going to get belted. We'll just see how things go. Thanks everyone for watching. For now, I will transfer you over to Tom, who has played his match with Misfire, or is overviewing his match with Misfire. See you then. Alrighty then, so we are now in the match with Misfire. Uh, just basically getting started over here, uh, just adjusting the decks as you do. Um, yes, we're going to do the die roll, of course. Yeah, so just drawing up hands. So it was a bit interesting. A lot of the interesting changes I had to make with Crime Partners and uh, Wolfman, of course. I'm not, wasn't really sure how they were going to work in this matchup. Um, granted, it was pretty interesting to see how it was going to go, but I wasn't 100% sure. Uh, as you can see here, he's already going into the Inner Darkness plays with Zachariah. I mean, it was definitely obvious. Misfire loves those Angel plays. I uh, definitely saw that coming. Bit of glare on his side, so I do apologize for that. But unfortunately, we couldn't really manage that all too much. Uh, getting this thing set up was actually incredibly difficult. But now, here we go. Uh, yeah, I got I got the worst rolls starting off. Uh, like, I got ones just repeatedly, which was kind of brutal. Um, here I get pretty roughed up with these angel plays. But remaining, my thought was just if I could get to um, star hand as fast as possible. I was able to get something down a little bit, you'll be able to see. But it was definitely a difficult match overall. Uh, I think he's doing some more shenanigans here. Ooh, I finally got my roll of one. Yeah, the blue die I initially had just went right off the table, so that's just, I just had to go with something different. That's another one, goes back to him. Um, 
you can see over there the little counters in the top and the bottom right hand corner of my screen are my health totals so he used a star hand got me to 10 and i'm going to go detonation soldier here so i finally got the roll of two i can use a mono mace that allows me to reveal a card from asset he reveals elizabeth which is really good uh not really because now i just knew he put that card in there but he goes detonation soldier it's going to give him a 1400 he goes to attack it i use outcast axe which can deal with the beowulf that means less cards in his asset pile which is always an advantage i also get the special removal i get a four here which allows me to get hot shot angel ryan which is a lot better, helps me get the setup a bit more. I can also get uh, Bale as well, putting it into Asset and then bringing it out through Ryan. This allows me to put more cards in Asset. I can use Detonation Soldier to especially move the Forgotten Angel Zachariah. This means they do not get to put as much cards onto the board. Uh, and I'm sitting pretty here, but as I go for the attack, I get the Mono Mace. And then next turn he drops Curse Breaker. Uh, and that Curse Breaker gets the... Oh no, because they're searching. Okay, so Curse Breaker comes out and searches the Dragon's Fire. Uh, obviously setting up Supreme Dragon Conqueror for later. Um, ooh, Inner Darkness. Yes, I did it for the draw three, because then I take a damage and I go to nine. Take another damage, I go to eight. Um, but I felt like drawing cards there was more important. I rolled the one, but I did get Kid Angel, which got me Beowulf, uh, which was pretty good. Um, yeah, overall, I think at this stage, I end up trying to go in for Redeemed. Um, I'm just trying to think about when I go into it. Uh, obviously, he's still... Actually, he goes and redeemed. Dang, okay, so he goes redeemed, and he's got the Curse Breaker right next to it. Um, obviously, I'm still trying to set up the asset a little bit, but it's still kind of difficult. I do Synergy Null the Redeemed, because Synergy Null is a bit of a brick, so you really just want to use it and make it effective while you have it. Uh, that Synergy Null will be important in the future. Um, or just Synergy Null in general. Yeah, so that's just me going bored now. Finally get the Zachariah. That goes into Kid. Um, all of them get board wiped for Wolfman. I did that just to deal with uh, his card there. Um, Wolfman then brings them all back, of course. I thought that would be the best time to do it, so because obviously I don't run the conditions for Wolfman, I just had to do it, take the chance while I had it. Uh, he follows up on the next turn by dropping off the Forgotten Angels and stuff. Uh, Curse Break, obviously, looking interesting there. Or I think it's Curse Breaker, or is that something different? Yeah. Okay, so we just clears the board there. Uh, yeah, so here we go. Yes, yeah, so that, that's dropped Crime Partners, which is about, I think it was like 5k or so, which is pretty decent. I uh, got Detonation Soldier, pretty nice. Um, that actually, sorry, my apologies, that's a Beowulf he's got in play. I don't know how I missed that. Uh, yes, yeah, so now we're going Curse Breaker, doing a bunch of different plays here. Um, still not sure how I'm going to win this match. I just used Burn Through Bay off any shutdown crime partners, which definitely sucked. Uh, I did use Sword, which was really good in dealing with Beowulf, but as we know, Beowulf comes back, so it's uh, a bit difficult, I would say. Um, okay, so he's going Supreme Dragon Conqueror route, popping the card, takes that card out, I roll. I get my Supreme Dragon Conqueror, I can pop his Conqueror. At this point, I'm feeling pretty good because I've got the big boy with timer removal, which is really nice. Uh, I'm dropping Hotshot Angel Ryan. Angel Ryan's going to get me another card into Asset. So now I just got to think about how I'm dealing with this. Yeah, because there goes Redeemed. So now I've got Redeemed and Conqueror down in play. Got the Redeemed through the Ryan play. So I feel like that's going to give me a bit of an advantage. But of course, he uses Detonation Soldier, especially moving my Supreme Dragon Conqueror. That really sucked a uh, heck of a lot. And um, I got Type Change. Uh, I used that Type Change on his Archangel when he drops it, so that it becomes a Savage Dragon type. And that would mean he couldn't use any Divine Sword, etc. Which was really helpful. Um, because in response, I believe I Sword, yep, when he goes to attack it. And that gives me the win over his Archangel, which was just a really nice play. I was really happy with that. The Archangel's dealt with, he's still got Forgotten, which is going to deal with Hotshot, uh, which sucks. But my Redeemed, which was the one that used the sword, was able to deal with it. Uh, I ran out of deck, as you can see, so I couldn't play anything. So I dropped Beowulf, I get really excited for Beowulf. I start beating the crap out of stuff, so I feel really excited about Beowulf. And um, obviously Beowulf, I, I think at the end of this point, will just go to the Perish Pile, and I'll get to revive it later on. 
Uh, yep, he goes back to Perished. I dropped two castles, because I just wasn't going to run castle in this situation. Got a three. Like I said, I've got no deck left, so I am running out of resources, so I'm really betting it all on this next big play. So I drop Archangel. Archangel has a boatload of attacks. Trying to go for game. Uh, but unfortunately, you're about to see why this does not happen, because they use Savage Dual Shield. Gosh, I hate Savage Dual Shield. Lucky, I can't believe you've done this to me. Uh, yeah, so that shuts down that play. That was a really big misplay. I should have gone for the timer of five, but I thought investing a Beowulf would be better, but it gets immediately countered with a Synergy Null, uh, which basically stuffs any chance of winning this match as I lose all of my Synergies. I've got Curse Breaker, but there's really nothing I can do as this match concludes with both my major win cons immediately dealt with. Uh, it just leaves me to be smacked around by... Um, Basically, it's what, what's left of Misfire's deck. Uh, at this point, I think I'm just left with like a Gabriel and an Elizabeth. I don't have much left. Yeah, that's Elizabeth. That's my final monster. Drop it down. He's got a Beowulf. There's really nothing I can do. And here we are. Four. I need to do something about the mat. Maybe I should get like a thinner mat so it can roll better, but... I don't know. I don't think about it. Um, Brian will attack Elizabeth again. And that is game. I have nothing left that I can play. I got no hand and no deck, and this is all my asset. Nice. It's just, yeah. I yeah. messed up not going the Archangel route. I should have done the five cards because I, I don't know why I didn't think you were going to specially move. I thought you were going to like Debt Soldier, and I could specially move with Carnage Armor. Yeah, no. Yeah, you were right earlier. My last asset card was Arathor. Yeah, I thought so. Arathor would have been really good there. So you have won the match and defeated my basic deck. So because you've won the match, uh, everyone who beats me in these matches will get a free booster pack from the Game Crafter. So you just oh, let nice. me know which one you want, and I will send it your way. Uh, definitely a difficult loss here, but um, I definitely think I can fix a lot of the problems. I'll talk about what I'll do next episode when I open up set two, and um, we'll see how things go. Uh, thank you for Misfire for giving me the match. Uh, anything you'd like to say before we wrap up? There is one thing I would like to say. Um, yes. You, you can definitely buy these on the Game Crafter, but if you also want to play the game online with a bunch of people, check out the Montac TCG Discord server, where we play with digital cards on untap.in. Very well said. Uh, look at him plugging. Absolute professional there. Yes, you can play on untap.in. At our Discord, I'll have the link in bio as well. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. Hope you had a great time watching me lose. And uh, I'll see you guys for the next episode of From Scratch with Montac. See ya. See ya.